Hi everyone, so today is a video on the Logic 4 metal key switch alarm panel. Um, my grandparents have had this house rewired, this house, their house rewired, and the electrician saved the old alarm panel. Um, so, yeah, I was quite lucky with this one, as most key switch alarm panels I've got have been broken. But, um, this one's in full work in order, fully work in order, nothing wrong with it at all. It's had some slight modification and um, who posted it, I can't remember who posted it, but on the alarm community someone posted the advertisement poster for this and I know this switch, this little um, button wasn't on the advertisement poster so I know that's an add-on but um, this button is the only modification to this panel and what the button is, is a bell test button but I've not got the bell test button wired up, so when I press that in, it does nothing. Um, and that's it. So obviously, Crime Watch have installed or serviced this panel at some point, as it has Crime Watch. Well, a Crime Watch sticker. And again, this is an old phone number because it's 051. Now it's 0151. So like I said, Logic Four. Auto reset and um, four position key switch. So we've got off, test, set one, set one and two. So that's like that's like omit. So if you wanted zone two, you'd have your PIRs, for example. PIR sensors would be wired to zone two. So when you went to bed, you'd set it to just set one. So all the PIR sensors would be omitted. Um, I have wired an internal sounder to bell. So I am going to do a demonstration, as you can see by the little door contacts here, just in shot. And there's also a buzzer in it, and the buzzer came with it. So, yeah, it was literally just pulled out of um, the porch where it was in my grandma's house. That's where it was screwed down, so anyway, I got that. So I'll do a little demonstration of the things I can demonstrate. So... It's like I said though, it's not too complex panel. So we've got mains, which is obviously on, that's the mains on indicator. PA, which is off, so that's tamper and personal attack button. Zone 1, zone 2 and exit. These contacts are wired to the exit. So, we'll arm the system. So you turn the key to arm. Take the keys out. Right, the system's now armed. That buzzer means it's arming. So that buzzer was the exit delay. So that was your time to get out. So now the exit delay has expired and the system is now set. So there's no PIR sensor wired to it, but any, any PIR sensor that, that was triggered now would put the system into alarm because the system is on. Um. So what we'll do now is we'll part the door contacts and make the alarm go off and then I'll put it back to off again. So if we pretend we're a robber breaking in, the exit light comes in. I can put the contacts back, take them away, put them back, nothing's going to change, the alarm's counting down and that's it. I'll get the keys at the ready, it's going to be probably loud. So I'll put the key switch back to off when it goes off. And then the exit light will go off.
Right, as you could hear, I got, well, I got the fright of my life then, but it was quite loud. So that's the internal sounder that I, that didn't come with it. I had to put that internal sounder in it, and I have done just for this demonstration. But that was what the internal sounder was. That was basically it. That was it in alarm. That was it going off. So that's it. There's two more things I can demonstrate, and that's it for the video. Um, the first thing is quick and simple, short and sweet, and that's the test feature. So if I put the alarm into test mode, all the active zones light up. So if I open these contacts, we get an exit light. And that means the zone's active, and then if we close it, the zone's off again. So that's just a quick example of open and closed circuits and the key is removable in all positions so I can leave it in test mode um, yeah so the last thing I want to show you on this metal logic 4 panel made by ADE in the late well late 80s I think it's mid 80s this is the tamper now tamper is bypassed if the alarm is in the test position if I open the panel whilst it's in test you will get a tamper light but you won't get a tamper alarm if I just put this back to off I'll take the screw out now So now I've took the screw out the panel, if I open it, it will go into alarm. Because um, there's a tamper spring inside this panel, so there's no screw tamper, there's just there's just um, a lid tamper. So when this opens, the spring will be released and the panel, I think, will go into tamper. Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. Well, I think it should anyway. Yeah, it definitely does. It went back to reset it then. I hadn't closed it. So I hadn't opened it very much. I just opened it a slight bit and we already got a tamper. So that's a very good tamper feature. As we can see, the PA light's on. I quickly put the alarm into test. Um, obviously, because it's late at night now and I don't want to wake anyone up. So, And then if I just close that shut again, you can see the tamper light went off. So it's in test now. And if it open lid, tamper, close lid, no tamper. So that was it. If it was in the on position or the off position, the tamper wouldn't stop straight away. That was obviously because I turned it off. So that was the last thing I wanted to demonstrate. And if the alarm... What was I going to say? If the alarm does go into tamper whilst it's in the off position, the way to reset it Say like it went into tamper now, now the panel's in off, if it went into tamper um, I'd have to put the alarm in guard and then take it out of guard, so basically set one or set one and two, that will, so tamper then I'll go set one and two, then I'll put it back off and it should have got rid of the tamper. So that's it really, um, the last thing I can show you pretty boring but it's what the old key switch panels did if there was a power failure and obviously this hasn't got a backup battery in but if there was a power failure nothing would happen so I'll turn the plug off because I've got it with a plug at the minute so as we can see the mains light has gone off now indicating there's no power to this panel and if we put it back in unlike the new coded panels that have a dead backup battery the system will go into alarm well with these old panels that have dead backup batteries Power comes back on, main light comes on, nothing happens. Um, that's bad on an alarm company's side, trying to stop intruders, intruders tampering with power. That's a bad feature. Customers like that feature <laughs> because it just means the alarm's not going to go off disturbing everyone at one in the morning when there tends to be a power cut. Um, I don't know what it is with one in the morning, but the most inconvenient time is the time there'll be a power cut. 
So that was it. I just wanted to demonstrate the logic for metal key switch panel. I don't upload to YouTube as much as I'm getting some a crucial point at school now. I've got loads of exams coming up, so I can't find the time to upload as much. But I really did want to upload this because I was quite excited when I got this. I only got it yesterday. Um, and I think it's a marvellous panel made by ADE. Um, my dad actually, my dad isn't an alarm engineer, engineer, but he fitted this because he did get an apprenticeship as an alarm engineer once. So he fitted, that was like his homework in a way, he had to fit this for his parents. So this was fitted by my dad. And then 30 years later removed and now it's being tested by me. Little would he know. 30 years ago that I'd end up with it, obviously I wasn't even born then, but there you go. So I just thought I'd upload this video and that's it really. I've run out of things to say about it. <laughs> I've said everything I can, so we'll conclude this video now. So that was the logic um, for metal key switch alarm panel from the 1980s, I think around 1985. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later. Bye.